Welcome back students. This time let us learn about frequency shifting with an example. In frequency shifting, the frequency of the carrier signal is varied to represent data. The frequency of the modulated signal is constant for the duration of one signal element but changes for the next signal element if the data element changes. Both peak amplitude and phase remain constant for all signal elements. So in frequency shift keying, amplitude and phase remain constant while frequency changes for a signal element. Now let us see the diagram representation of frequency shift keying. Here we have a representation of analog signal. We have a binary digit which is 1 represented by a particular signal frequency and we have 0 represented by another particular frequency so as we can see from here the amplitude of the signal as you can see the amplitude this is the amplitude remains the same and the phase also remains the same because it continues like this okay there is no phase changes but the frequency changes as you can see this is having a high frequency this is having a low frequency this is high so, 1 is represented by a high frequency and 0 is represented by a low frequency. Okay. In binary frequency shift keying, we know that we will be having two frequency, the one with the higher frequency and the one with the lower frequency. Therefore, we will need to have a true carrier frequency, F1 and F2, as we can see here. This is one frequency and this is another frequency. And true delta F represents the differences between these two frequency. So the bandwidth will be B equals to 1 plus D S plus 2 delta F. Where 2 delta F represents the differences between the carrier frequency. Okay. So R is equals to 1 because one signal element is represented by one bit. Or rather, R is equal to 1 because one is represented by one signal element. As we know, S is equals to C and by R, where R and C are 1, that is, S is equals to 1 N by 1, which is equals to S is equals to N, okay? Now, let us see the bandwidth for FSK. B is equal to 1 plus D, S is the baud rate, and L minus 1 is the level of the signal elements, minus 1 into 2 delta F where 2 delta F is the distance between the carrier frequency, 2 delta F must be at least equal to S. Now let us try to understand FSK a bit more, giving example. We have an available bandwidth of 100 kilohertz, which spans from 200 to 300 kilohertz. Compute the carrier frequency and the bit rate if we modulate our data by using binary FSK with d equals to 1. Now what we have to find out is your carrier frequency first and then we will try to find out the bit rate. Okay. So to find out the carrier frequency, binary FSK has two frequency for its data element an F for 0 and another F for 1. As we all know, to represent 1, the frequency may be like this and to represent 0, we may have a low frequency like this. Okay, so we will have two frequency for either one and zero. That means the level of signals that we have is equals to two. L equals to two. All right. And when we try to find the value of R, we know that R will be equals to log two L and which will be equals to one. Now let us move on. There are two carrier frequencies, one between 200 and 250 kilohertz. The second carrier frequency is between 250 and 300 kilohertz. The two carrier frequencies are F equals to 225, F2 equals to 275 kilohertz. How we come to this conclusion is that we are given a frequency range between 200 and 300 kilohertz. Okay, and then we know that the bandwidth is 100 kilohertz. So let us try to plot it first. So suppose here we have 200 and 300 kilohertz okay so we have 200 and 300 kilohertz 
the bandwidth is 100 so if we need to have two carrier frequencies we have to divide this into half here half will be 250 all right and the first carrier frequency will be in between 200 and 250 which is f1 and the frequency will be 225 kilohertz and the second carrier frequency will be between 250 to 300 kilohertz which will be 275 kilohertz so the first carrier frequency may represent 0 bit and f2 may represent 1 bit okay so carrier frequency is f1 equals to 225 and f2 equals to 275 this is your first answer here before we find out the bit rate we should try to find out the value of 2 delta f first as we know 2 delta f is the differences between two carrier signal that is f2 minus f1 we know that so f2 is equals to 275 kilohertz minus f1 is equal to 225 kilohertz which will be equals to 50 kilohertz as we can see here all right now we also know the formula of bandwidth for binary fsk which is given by b equals to within bracket 1 plus d into s plus within bracket l minus 1 into 2 df so let us substitute the value we already have we know that the bandwidth is equals to 100 kilohertz 100 kilohertz we put 100 here and the value of d is 1 so 1 plus 1 here we still have yet to find out the value of s so we put s plus we know the level which is equals to 2 2 minus 1 and 2 df is nothing but 50 kilohertz all right if we solve this we will have 100 equals to 2s plus 50 kilohertz by the way 100 is also kilohertz s will be equals to nothing but kilo baud because s is a calculation for the baud rate all right so we know the value of s now we already know that s is equals to c n by r if we simplify this formula we know that n will be equals to s into r divided by c c is 1 so n is equals to s into r so substituting the value we already have we have 2 into 5 kilobaud and the value of r is nothing but 1 so the bit rate will be equals to 25 kbps this is again your answer now let us see the implementation of bfsk binary 1 is represented by an up square voltage and 0 is represented by a down square voltage or a low square voltage and then we have a carrier frequency here in the middle this is your carrier frequency now this is the modulated frequency as you can see from here whenever the voltage is high that is bit is equals to one the frequency changes all right and whenever the bit is zero that is the voltage is low the frequency also changes so as we can see from here all the high frequency represents one and the low frequency represents zero this is how a binary signal is converted into analog signal it is simply done by voltage control oscillator we input a binary signal and then using this voltage control oscillator we can have a binary frequency shift keying analog signal all right now let us give another example for better understanding we need to send data three bits at a time at a bit rate of 3 mbps the carrier frequency is 10 megahertz calculate the number of levels different frequencies the baud rate and the bandwidth in this example we need to find three things number one is l the second one is we need to find the baud rate s and the third one we need to find the bandwidth which is b now first of all let us try to find the number of levels we know that since we send data three bits at a time the value of r will be three bits per signal so how do you find the level is that r equals to log 2l 
and when we solve this l is equals to 2 to the power r we know the value of r is 3 so l is equals to 2 to the power 3 which is equals to 8 now we have the level l equal to level 8 this is your first answer secondly we need to find the bulk rate we know that s is equals to c n by r this has become a very popular formula now we also know that c equals to 1 and we know the value of r we already calculate as 3 and we also know the bit rate of 3 mbps n equals to 3 mbps now substituting the value here we have s equals to 1 into n is 3 mbps divided by r which is 3 now we can see the value as equals to 1 megabout this is your bulk rate and this is your second answer now to find the bandwidth previously we know that s should be equals to 2 delta f we already find out the value of s which is 1 megabout so 2 delta f will be also equals to 1 megahertz okay now we are going to substitute the value here b equals to 1 plus d d is equals to 0 so we put 0 here and s is equals to 1 megabout plus the level of signal l is equals to 8 8 minus 1 and 2 delta f is nothing but 1 megahertz so calculating this value we have 1 megahertz plus 7 megahertz which is equals to 8 megahertz bandwidth is equals to 8 megahertz this is your third answer now we know the carrier frequency is 10 megahertz let us try to plot this in the diagram we know that the carrier frequency is 10 megahertz all right and we know the level is 8 since the carrier frequency exactly lies in the middle of the bandwidth we know that the bandwidth is equals to 8 megahertz all right so another 4 megahertz will be on the lower side of the frequency carrier and 4 megahertz will be on the upper side of the frequency carrier all right and then we have eight levels these are the levels one two three four five six seven eight and for each level of the bandwidth we have different frequency carrier f1 in the middle here 6.5 7.5 8.5 9.5 10.5 and so on all right as we can see from here the minimum bandwidth will be 6 megahertz and the maximum bandwidth will be 14 megahertz okay that is all thank you